Schmitty here with your daily dose of quiplash, use as directed. I've already come up with a mnemonic to remember all your names, and it is filthy. Let's get started. <laughs> Round 1. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious, or not, for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Running out, think fast or use a safety. <laughs> cool, let's see what's what. The first prompt is a weird thing to shout when you're midair during a cannonball. Okay, pick your favorite. Moving on, a rule every gardener eventually learns, never blank the cabbage. It's voting time! Next prompt, how Papa Smurf plans to spend his retirement. Okay, vote. Next, a rejected name for nipples. Vote now. Round one's over. Let's check the scoreboard. Wow. Round two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled.
safety quit button if you can't think of something. Time to share! First up, a family heirloom you probably shouldn't pass down to your children. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. is a bad substitute for dental floss. Vote on your devices. Your next prompt is the title of a cookbook written by a cowboy. Ready, set, vote! thing to blurt out when watching a movie sex scene with your parents. Put in your votes. Two is no more. Let's see the damage. Welcome to the last lash, the final round. There's just one prompt and you're all getting it. Complete this comic. Everybody's in! It's round three and you've got two medals to award, a gold and a silver. Make your picks! Great! Let's 
Let's see where those medals ended up. Silver. And now the gold. Okay, let's change those medals into points. It's over. Let's see the final scores. Sure, sure, we can play. Yeah, I wasn't busy or anything. Just an FYI, I'm claiming all of you as dependents on my taxes. Time for round one. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go!
up. Use a safety quip if you can't think of anything. Okay. Let's see what we're working with. First off, a strange thing to yell when you find your first gray hair. Okay, use your device to pick your favorite. That's it. Let's see the scores for round one. Wow. Now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. All oh, the drama. Okay, I hope you all made me proud. Starting us off, elections would be a whole lot better if instead of debates, we made the candidates blank. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite.
next in the hopper? What are mannequins always thinking? And vote! Coming up next, an odd sequel to the children's book, The Giving Tree. Vote now. Next in line, what not to say to a date while you're on a paddle boat. It's voting time. And that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. <laughs> and now round three, the last lash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Make up a phrase that goes with this acronym. Okay, soak it in. Choose who gets a medal now. Okay, let's see who got those medals. Here's the silver. And finally, gold. Let's translate that into points. That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores. Hey, hey, I'm Schmitty, and I completely forgot what I'm doing here. Oh, Quiplash, right, Quiplash. I want each of you to give 110%. I got a lot of money on this.
Here's round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Almost out of time. Use the safety quit button if you have to. Alright, let's get to it. Up first, a surprise benefit of all the wind in Chicago. Next on the list, a bumper sticker a nudist would have. Vote on your devices. Okay, next one. A line in the Canadian National Anthem, probably. Next on deck, when confronted by a mountain lion, stay calm, stand as tall as possible, and blank. Ready, set, vote! That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. <laughs> round two is pulling into the station with double the points and bonuses.
the safety quit button if you can't think of something. These better be good. Prompt number one is... A bad excuse when trying to return a sports bra. Okay, choose your favorite. Moving on, the hardest part of living forever. Put in your votes. up, the top pop song of 1906, probably. Float away. Next is the title of a Goosebumps book that was never published. Okay, vote. Round two is through. Let's see what it did to the scores. <laughs> That's right, it's round three, the last lash. Look alive because you're all getting the same prompt this time. Complete the comic. Let's see the responses. Present your medals now. Nice, let's see who snagged the medals. Bring out the silver and gold. Great, let me just turn those medals into points for you.
That's all. Now for the final scores. No, 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 no. And according to my guidance counselor, this is the only job I'm qualified for. Hey, it's all my favorite people. Oh, I would do anything for you guys, even help you hide a body. <laughs> I mean, because you do that for me, right? I'm in a little bit of trouble. You know what? Never mind. Let's get started. This is round one. The more people who vote for your answer, the better your score. Let's go. on the table. 
Number one on the list? What's that blue liquid in Magic 8 Balls? Okay, select your favorite quip. Next, a bad lawyer's opening statement to the jury. Get to voting. Moving on, the Eiffel Tower would be a lot cooler if it had blank. Time to vote. Next on the list, what Pandora would recommend after playing a One Direction song? Get to voting! That's it for round one. Let's bring up the scoreboard. <laughs> On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say. Use a safety clip if you can't think of anything. Okay, remember, this is all your fault. First one. Alfred may know Batman's secret identity, but the biggest secret he keeps is blank. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. Next in the hopper, every airline flight should come with a free blank. Float away.
next prompt. What's Kanye West's personal mission statement? Ready, set, vote. Inappropriate song to be air drumming to. It's voting time. You survived round two. Let's see if your scores did. <laughs> round three, the last lash. Everybody's getting the same prompt, so don't hold back. Come up with the phrase this acronym stands for. Let's see what you've wrought. Decide who gets a medal. Let's see who earned those medals. Here's the silver. And the gold. Let's melt those medals down for points. Okay, let's see those final scores.
Come on, wake up. Welcome to Trivia Night. A phantasm of my- Oh, and I guess I wasn't talking. Okay, rude much? Okay, first question. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking about how hilarious those minions are from Despicable Me. You know those lovable little scamps, right? Well... What's the name of the one-eyed minion character? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the Kelly Floor. Good news! It's math time! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. Whoever does the worst, dies. Let's kick some math! You look like you're concentrating too hard. You're approaching the math finish line. <coughs> this will hurt. <coughs> There's no hard way to say it. I killed you and now you're a ghost. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. I kind of wish I were a ghost. <sighs> Someday. Here's everybody's score so far. Are scores important? If you crave external validation, then yeah. I've got more questions for you. Why does cats in the cradle always get to me? And the correct answer is... This one. The rest of you, come with me. Well howdy there! Welcome back to the killing floor! We're going to play the finger cutting game. I used to call this one knifey pointy, but the name didn't test well with the focus group I kidnapped. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Easy, right? All you have to do is endure blinding pain. Make with the cutting already! Ah! Cut! It puts the finger in the basket. Welcome back to the scoreboard. The scoreboard is your friend. Alright, next question. Who is the father of transcendentalism? said this <laughs> everyone is wrong i want to show you something well i hope you know how to spell use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out i do this all the time for my job but the person with the shortest word will be punished spell words now The letters don't have to touch each other, and remember to press submit when you're done.
let's see what you did there. This is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Down to one player at this point of the game? Well, call me Christopher Columbus because we're taking a detour. If you can survive the next two questions, I think the final round should finally be ready to go. It's worth the wait. Trust me. Next question. Phileas Fogg is a character from which novel? Everyone is wrong. I have a surprise for you. Uh-oh, this is a mess. I spilled blood all over my favorite piece of art. I hope you're a splatter expert. Memorize the pattern of blood. All right, that's enough time. Okay, we have a little time, so let me give you my puppy chow recipe. In a saucepan, melt the chocolate. Add peanut butter and mix until smooth. Remove from heat, add cereal, and stir until coated. Pour powdered sugar and cereal into a large plastic bag and shake until well coated. Serve and enjoy! Anyway... Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If your pattern is different than mine, I will kill you. Here's that art again, and here's what you did. Looks like your memory let you down. Bye bye now. Terrible tragedy. I wouldn't go snooping around that old abandoned high school if I were you. Rumor has it, some awful things happened there. A macabre host kidnapped some folks and forced them to answer a bunch of trivia questions. Three people died, which everyone thought was terrible. Not me. Pick up a book once in a while and maybe you won't die on trivia shows. Tragic. Now, if you don't want to buy a rocking chair, I'm going to kindly ask you to leave. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. I was helping someone load his van. Oh, we're doing this again. I'll keep doing it until someone stops me. Okay now, first question. Well, this is easily the most boring question I've ever come up with. What does a barometer measure? Correct answer is... Who got the question right? Very good! 
Alright, next question. What Japanese dessert is ice cream wrapped in rice paste? And the correct answer is... This. Which leaves only you. Prepare for your punishment. Welcome to the killing floor. Let's do a little memory test. Everyone gets to play this time. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've had enough time. I know this is a weird time to bring it up, but I just learned to play the glockenspiel. Wanna hear? That was an Alicia Keys song. Could you tell? Ah, forget it. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? And anything other than first place is a death sentence, my Nalichin. was the pattern, you silly gooses. How close did you get? You got it exactly right. Ugh, let's see how your friends did. We'll get you next time. Let's take a look at the scoreboard, shall we? Do you like it? I took an online C++ course. Aced it. Let's try another one. I'm having a good day, so just to be fair, here's an easy one. What do you call those tiny little wooden playing pieces that are shaped like people in the board game Carcassonne? One. Which leads only you. I have a surprise for you. Welcome back to the killing floor. It's loser wheel time. Go ahead and spin it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Now that's how you spin the loser wheel. You can't say it wasn't fair. Here's that scoreboard again. I made it pretty clear what this was the first time, right? Ah, I think I'm over explaining. Here's another one. Some say they just suddenly appeared one day, but... Where are the Wiggles from? Go someplace fun. Oh fun! A big pile of moolah! Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Let's see 
who was a jerk and who was a sucker. Uh-oh, too many piggies ran for the trough. Dead little piggies. Oh crap, everybody's dead. I need somebody alive for the final round. Okay then. You get to live a wee bit longer because you're doing the best. And I like you. Okay, moving on. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Countries with capitals that start with D. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Get it, you did well. Houses in Game of Thrones.
Welcome to the sequel that most people wait to experience until it comes out on video on demand. Okay now, first question. I've always wanted to ride my own neighborhood bar after watching that Ted Danson show, Becker. So tell me, what is vermouth? And the correct answer is... Who got it right? Hmm, too easy. How about this? What shoe brand has a shield in its logo? And the correct answer is... This. Hmm. Too easy. Let's try another one. I'm a big fan of Marty Short. Yeah, I call him Marty. We're friends. He just doesn't know it yet. Which of the three amigos did Martin Short play in the movie of the same name? We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. Okie dokie, it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I'm pretty excited to show off my chalice collection. Good to the last drop, if you know what I mean. Now let's see what everyone drank. Yeah, you like that? It's homebrew. Oh, you brought a knife to a poison fight. And now, the scoreboard! Wait, that's supposed to be a scare board! Dang it! I messed up the joke. Uh, just forget it. It's a scoreboard, okay? It's a scoreboard. Let's try this again. Are there any linguists here? What's a Furby saying when it says, We taka we woo? said this. The rest of you, let's play a game. 
them back to the killing floor. I want to play a dice game. I'll go first. 16. Now I need an assistant. She'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. Wow, okay. Not pulling any punches, huh? Roll higher than me or you die. <laughs> if this is what it took for you to face your gambling problem, then frankly, I'm happy. Dead, but I already have the final round all set up and ready, so I guess we'll do this. You're doing the best, so you get one more chance. The time has come. It wasn't easy making it here alive, and it won't be easy to escape with your body. Here's your first category. Heavyweight Boxing Champs. Tap on each answer that fits, then press Submit. the right answers a space for every right answer romance language Here comes the next question. 
okay, this is a sequel, so expect the exact same structure as before, but with slight variables. First question. Bob Dylan shocked the world by playing an electric set at which music festival? And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Lame. Let's try another one. The miracle on ice happened during which Winter Olympics? The answer is... this one? <laughs> Everyone is wrong! Let's play a game! Welcome to the killing floor! Let me ask you a question. Answer very carefully. Which app is the most helpful? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Seriously, pick one you just don't like. The votes are in. It's never really easy to put yourself out there like you did, but oh well. everyone's doing so far. It's real early though, so don't freak out. Let's try another one. What was the name of that mid-90s talking pig movie that wasn't, babe? Oops. 
picked this one. Only a ghost got it wrong. Hmm, too easy. All right, next question. Very important question. Where can a fella get a Jamocha shake? Said this, which leaves only you. Prepare for your punishment. Hello, Guten Tag. Welcome back to the killing floor. It's time for my sickest creation a math quiz. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All the other players will be playing along too. And if any of them do better than you, there will be a punishment. Time to get your math on! Keep shining, you beautiful diamonds! I wish we could do math all day, but time's almost up! Should I check you for a hidden abacus? Let's take another moment to appreciate this cool scoreboard, huh? I've got more questions for you. OMG, sometimes I feel so old, you guys. High School Musical came out in what year? And the correct answer is... this. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's play a game. Let's get artistic up in here. Now, keep in mind, I don't know art, but I know it sends me into a homicidal rage. So, draw carefully. Something that makes you cry. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing that you hate the most. Seriously, vote for the drawing that sucks. The votes are in. Personally, I kind of like it. But the people have spoken. <laughs> I'm still thinking about how bad your drawing was. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your body? Here's your first category. Stones. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. A space for every right answer. U.S. Vice Presidents.
kind of a gimme. Beware of the darkness. Movies with talking animals. This is gonna get ya! European Rivers You want some more, huh? I can do this all day. Well, within reason. I have a life outside this dungeon, you know. Okay now, first question. Dang it, my smartwatch broke. More like a dumb watch, am I right? <laughs> anyway... What time is it? And the correct answer is... Who got it right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong! Prepare for your punishment! Welcome to the killing floor! I think it's time for some senseless violence! You can attack someone else! You can defend yourself! Or you can grab some money! And if no one gets hurt, I'll still punish someone! So make sure someone gets hurt. Okay, make your choices. You know, life is all about making choices. Well, that's what it says on this <laughs> poster anyway. The whole point of a life or death decision is that you have to decide something! You did nothing. That just won't do. You can check out the full explanation of my tiebreaker rules over on my website. Well, unless it's been hacked again. Thanks a lot, Anonymous. If that's your real name. God, it really just makes you feel so helpless when that happens, but, you know, what are you gonna do? There are just bad people in this world. Here's how everyone's doing so far, but also know that who you are as a person is just as important. Alright, next question. I hate treaties. They get in the way of a perfectly good bloodshed. 
The Treaty of Ghent ended what war? Surprise for you! Hey girl! Welcome back to the killing floor. It's time for some finger cutting. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's so easy. Easier than cutting off a toe. Ugh, don't get me started on those. Aim for the tendon! Thanks for the finger, food. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't eat them. I know where they've been. Back to the scoreboard. How about this? What kind of painting technique uses egg yolk? Let's have some fun with spelling! Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. Oh, and all these other players get to play along too. And if any of them spell a longer word than you, you will be punished. Begin. Almost out of time. Let's see what you could come up with. Let's see if anyone beat you. It's just like my motivational poster says. There's at least one person who's definitely better than you. It's not just that everybody ganged up on you. It's that they were smiling while they were doing it. We're down to one player already? I haven't seen a derailment that bad since the time I set up my nephew's train set. Okay, here's the plan. If you can survive the next two questions, I'll power up the final round and open the escape door. Here's another one. Some of the stuff you just need to know if you want to make it in this world. What is hip-hop artist Drake's favorite NBA team? And the correct answer is... This one! Hmm, too easy. Next question. And now a question about one of the scariest gangs in America. Who's the leader of the sharks in West Side Story? One? Only a ghost got it wrong. Very good. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. Here's your first category. Egyptian gods. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers! A space for every right answer. Rodents!
smart people, huh? Can you stay out of the shadows? Try don't lose. Before the others catch you. Here's another one. Three gods. Your nightmare was over, but it's not over. It's only beginning. Again. Because, you know, it's another one. I don't know what I was trying to say exactly. Let's just play. Okay, first question. An enophile is a connoisseur of what? Time 
Entering now. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Come with me. Welcome to the killing floor. Ugh, look at this mess. This piece of art has blood all over it, and it was really expensive. The blood, I mean. Memorize the pattern of blood. <laughs> Okay, you've had long enough. You know, this game can get pretty hectic. I worked pretty hard on the timing. But let's take a moment to just relax for a little bit. Enjoy each other's company. Isn't this nice? We should do this more often. Anyway, reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit and you're done. If your pattern is different than mine, I will kill you. Submit your work or you don't have a chance. Here's that art again. Let's see if you messed it up. Whoopsie! You done messed up. Only one player left. But it's too early to go to the final round. You need to survive a little longer if you want a chance to escape. If you can survive two more questions, everyone goes to the final round. Alright, next question. When did the Salem Witch Trials begin? And the correct answer is... This. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. Welcome back to the killing floor. Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. Do 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 ba do ba do ba do Alright, let's put these away. Is it distracting if I start yelling out, Car! Duck! Square! Wisconsin! <laughs> From left to right, what was the order of the colors? I will accept zero mistakes. <laughs> looky looky, here's the pattern. How much of it did you remember? Mistakes are unacceptable. Oh, come on. None of you could survive longer than that? I set all this stuff up hoping we get to play more than just a handful of minutes. Weak sauce, people. Weak sauce. Terrible tragedy. I wouldn't go snooping around the old Jacob's place if I were you. They say terrible things happen there. A party game, but with creepy stuff added. I don't know, I think maybe I'd understand it better if I was a millennial. Three people died. You hate to hear about a thing like that, but I'm telling you anyway. Horrible. You know, around here, it's customary to tip an old man after he's told a spooky story. Huh? Hmm? Oh, get out of here, you cheap tourist. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. Hey.